Martin here, back on Mission Bay. Today we're fishing the boat, fishing for a big spot of A-Bass, and hopefully some legal halibut. Also got my buddy Ron on the boat. He contributes a lot to the social media content, videos and photo. It's good to have two lines in the water so we can see what they're biting on. We finally got some new hooded sweatshirts. These are the nice ones. These are the 10 ounce heavyweights, ready for winter. So go ahead and check them out, warbase.com. All right, we just pulled it to the spot. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Yeah. Oh, I just got this freaking hammered and blew it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I didn't spot a bay bass or something else, man. There we go. There we go. Just talking about how spotties are something different. When they hit it, they hit it. All right. Nice little bay bass to start it off. Underspin bite. Real orange and yellow underneath that chin. Gotta like that. Good bite. Swim jig fish. Solid bay bass on the swim jig. Look at that super bright orange yellow. It's a good one right there. Here, dude, hook me up with a still. I don't, I don't take still photos very much anymore. But I'll tell. We're hit. We're bit. We're bit. Doubles on the swim jig. <laughs> there it is. Killer, that's what's up. We found a little batch of fish. We got two bites. Swim jig fish, so low and slow. Shallow biter, small guy. He's nibbling on it though.
guys. So Ron had to take off. I brought him back to the dock. He's got to go back to work. So we're going to go ahead and continue fishing for a little bit. Still in Mission Bay. Bite is a little slow, but we did catch the one legal and we're going to keep plugging away and hopefully we can catch some more. This bait is great in the winter time when the water is cold and the fish don't move very far away from their structure. They're more apt to eat a food source that isn't moving very fast and that they can hit very quickly from their ambush spot. The jig acts like a baby lobster, a crab, a shrimp, some sort of crustacean that these spotties feed on. Fishing the swim jig, make sure the jig has bottom contact. You wanna be bumping along the bottom or swimming the jig right through that eel grass slowly. You wanna give that jig a pause every so often, give the skirt a chance to flare open, give the claws a chance to float up to make that presentation more enticing for a bass to grab. The main jig color I like to fish and have the most confidence fishing is the Barrett Roach. This jig features a textured pop skirt which makes for a more realistic presentation. And then that hit of orange coming off that green bottom, that's a real good indication for nutrients and the fish are gonna be more apt to biting something with that color. Now I'm typically gonna run a craw trailer on this jig and on this day I was fishing the striking rage tail. Other colors I like to fish are bait fish colors. MB Secret, Bullgill, Sunfish, and Crappie are some of my favorite colors to fish for spotted bait bass and largemouth bass. And with these swim jigs, I like to fish a paddle tail swim bait. Here are some other successful colors that work for spotted bait bass and largemouth bass. And I will also include calico into this mix. Color on the bottom right is called Spotty Special, and that's the color that Ron was using to catch his spotted bay bass. And when fishing the swim jig, I like to fish a 7-2 extra heavy rod. I'm gonna fish 40 pound braided line tied to 15 pound fluorocarbon. And on this day, I was fishing a 3 8 ounce swim jig and we were in 13 foot of water. I did get my other bite on an underspin and swim bait combination. This is the 3 8 ounce DCP weed guard underspin and here I was fishing 40 pound braided line to 15 pound fluorocarbon leader line. Hey fun time overall had a great trip fishing was a little slow but got to spend some time with my buddy Ron and my beautiful wife and son came out joined me a little bit on the bay here just cruising around did a little bit of fishing she got one bite but no fish. So thanks again for joining me on this adventure this is a local adventure fun one just good to get out, explore a little bit, see what these bay bass are doing during the winter time, beginning of winter. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section and I will get back to those. And always get out there, go fish and hook that giant.